Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Living with the Saints series. Yes, you're hearing it right, the Living with the Saints series is back. Last year, I featured 16 of my favorite saints, and uh, but this time I have to add one more uh, fav- uh, of my favorite saint after uh, reading the life of St. Catherine of Siena. Okay, so uh, what can we know about the life of St. Catherine of Siena? St. Catherine of Siena... Uh, lived during the 14th century. Okay, uh, she was a twin, the 24th of 25 children born to Giacomo and La- Lapa Benincasa. Okay, and uh, and she's one of the most extraordinary saints in the history of the the Catholic Church. And uh, uh, at the age of six, uh, she underwent an extraordinary mystical experience. In the age of seven. Uh, she made a vow, vow of virginity, okay? And, um, and what happened there was that uh, at the age of 16, um, her parents was pressuring her to get married. And because she made this vow of virginity, what she did was that uh, she cut off her hair uh, to mar her appearance, okay? Uh, and what happened there was that uh, uh, she did not choose to enter a convent and uh, instead joined the third order of the Dominicans, okay, which allowed her uh, to be associated with this religious society while living at home. And what happened there was that uh, she developed a habit of uh, giving away uh, food and things uh, at her home to the poor, okay? And uh, and when she was uh, 21 years old, uh, she... She referred this experience as a mystical marriage to Christ. And uh, she was given this uh, uh, bejeweled ring uh, that is invisible, and only she could see it. Okay? In one of her vision, uh, she was also told by Jesus to re-enter public life and to help the poor and the sick. Uh, in one of the story in, in, in her life, uh, she was ministering to this uh, leper. And she contracted this leprosy in her hand. But when, after this person died, her skin uh, got healed miraculously, you know, and uh, so beautiful. And uh, St. Catherine also uh, was given the stigmata. But just like her uh, ring, uh, it's only visible to herself, okay? And uh, uh, so... Uh, at the age of 25, she could no longer tolerate uh, eating uh, anything and spent her remaining eight years living on Holy Communion alone. <laughs> Imagine that, eight years of just receiving Holy Communion. Okay? And, uh, and what happened there was that she was, she was uh, uh, given this, uh, uh, this grace to be able to see the, the soul of people. Okay, the state of their soul. And whenever she would travel, uh, she, she needs to be accompanied by five to seven priests because uh, what happened there is that whenever she would encounter a sinner, uh, they would be converted and uh, they, they need to go to confession. So a lot of miracles happened in her life. You know, she multiplied food and wine and often foretold the future. She also cast out de- devils spent much of her life in ecstasy, levitated, uh, and lived without sleep, and once died for four hours, uh, during which time she saw heaven, hell, and purgatory. Okay? And toward the end of her life, while in ecstasy with God the Father, she dictated her dialogue, which has become one of the most profound, insightful classics of the Catholic Church. Um, She's also known, famous, uh, for persuading the Holy Father, uh, then Gregory the, the Eleven, to move the entire papal court back to Rome, his home diocese from Avignon, France, in 1376. Okay? And, uh, and what happened there in 1380, uh, this 30, 33-year-old mystic, mystic had become ill, uh, possibly because of habit of extreme fasting, and uh, and on um, and then she died on April uh, twenty nine, 
okay, following a stroke just a week prior. Okay, so her feast day is on April 29, and in the year 1970, 1970 she was given the honor as the Seraphic Virgin and, uh, and has been proclaimed a doctor of the church. I really encourage you to, to read uh, her autobiography written by her spiritual director, uh, Blessed Raymond of Capua. Okay, so very, uh, very inspiring life of St. Catherine of Siena. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary Joseph, we trust. You.